everybody and welcome back to Fratini's channel. Um, today I am back with um, an unboxing video. Um, I know I said that I wasn't going to do any more unboxing videos until after Christmas but I failed. <laughs> so um, so yeah we got um, an unboxing video to do. So this is my latest diamond painting I've ordered from Huacan. Um, I ordered this on the 18th of October um, it was dispatched, bear with me, sorry, right, it was dispatched on the 24th of October and it arrived with me today, the 2nd of November, so pretty much average time for the delivery from Huacan. Um, so I'm going to get this unboxed, um, box seems like it's in really good condition. I just hope that the canvas and the drills are all good as well because I've been hearing even more reports about Huacan and um, having bad drills and stuff. So that's um, it worries me a little bit. I'm just going to zoom this out just a tad. I'm sorry you can see my computer screen, but I am using a different recording software and um, it tends to make my webcam a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, widescreen. Maybe I just need to tweak a few settings but I haven't fully got to grips with the whole program yet so because I used to use OBS to record my videos before and now I'm using XSplit. It was a UCAM um, but I didn't like the quality of, um, of that one so much. So I'm trying out XSplit. Um, so here is the box then, so standard Huacan diamond painting box, um, it's in really good condition, I can't see any any dents or it's not been squished or anything, so that's all okay. Right, the box is open at the end, but I think I might have just accidentally opened that myself. Um, there's all the things inside. I can get everything to come out. And I can't remember what this is. Oh, I do. I do. I remember what it is. Because if you remember me saying in one of my um, live streams, I gave away my Peacock's um, diamond painting to my mother-in-law. And um, I obviously had to replace it. So I've, I've bought a similar kind of diamond painting from, um, from who I can. I think they're Peacock's. Okay, so we've got everything out of the box for now. Let's pop that down there a second. Okay, so we'll quickly just go through the tools. We've got the Huacan branded tweezers. We've got the three tip and I think that's the nine tip placer in there. Um, a white tray with a funnel and a strip of wax. Well, two strips of wax. So all the tools are there. Where can I put this? I'm running out of space on my desk. I have so much. Um, here are the diamonds. I'm going to turn off the autofocus because I've noticed it's uh, it's trying to manually zoom itself and it kind of makes the things worse. So this is a um, square. So we'll have a look at the diamonds a bit closer in a second. For now, I'm going to move my keyboard out the way. Put the diamonds there for a bit. So the diamond painting itself is rolled up in plastic um, and it's wrapped around a foam core. So I'm going to try and get into this. Coming off easy. And who can normally tape their diamond paintings shut to keep them sealed. So I've just got to find the end of the tape. Uh, I didn't think this diamond painting was going to um, come today actually. Because I mean it's like one o'clock in the afternoon now. Normally the mail's delivered about 
10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to arrive. And I thought, well, if it does come any later, what I was going to do, I was going to do um, a live unboxing when I did my live stream later. I thought that would be cool because I, I don't think I've done a live unboxing before. But I suppose I could have left it and done the unboxing later, but I thought I wanted to make two separate videos. Um, you know, I have massive issues getting into these, especially when they tape it. I might have to get some better scissors. There we go. Right. Right, we've got the tape off finally. So let me see if I can show you the thumbnail real quick. So there is the peacock. My manual zoom, I've turned the autofocus off. Maybe if I put the autofocus back on, you might see it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so there is the peacock that I've ordered. Very nice colours. I think this is going to be nice, nice purples and pinks. And it is a 37 colour and it's a 60 by 35. <clears throat> there are all the symbols. And the DMCs. We do have some 310 in there. 394. We don't have any 939s. We don't have any 3865 either. Considering... There's um it looks like there's a bit of white, but I think it more might be more of an off an off pink, like a very, very pale pink, maybe. So let's have a look at the canvas then. So it is I think it's gonna be quite long. Again, I'm doing my typical style and going ham with the uh the sizes of the canvas. So I've took the foam roll core out of it. Let me just move the camera in because all you can see is my arm. So it is quite a manageable size for its size. I actually thought it might be a little bit longer than, than this for 60 centimetres. I don't know. So, so it's in one, two, three, four strips. We've got three normal strips. And then at the bottom here, we've got like a small, a smaller strip. So I'm going to peel this back just to have a quick look at the, the drill field. Oh my God. It's nice and clear, but oh my God, those symbols. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure if you, can, if you guys can see this. Let me put my autofocus back on so you can see it. But these symbols though, how the heck? Come on, focus, damn it. I have to keep the camera super, super still for it to focus. But those symbols, I am going to be like goggle eyed by the end of this. Jeez. That is some. Um, Whew, there's some serious confetti in this one. That's for sure. It certainly looks like there's going to be a lot of confetti. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> right, let me have a look at a little bit further along the canvas. So let's peel this side back. Okay, so there is the top of the peacock's head. Um... Symbols don't look bad actually. When once you've got past all this section here, which is like what the hell kind of impression, <laughs> um, the rest of it looks really good. Now, this is a, land, a portrait canvas, so the port the canvas is going this way down, so it's length, it's it's portrait, so. But the, the way they've put the diamonds on the canvas, um, because I've noticed some letters um, like letter H, K, W, um, 
E, R. So they're all facing this way, which is quite useful because this is how I would do the diamond painting. I would put it on my easel so it is this way. So we're going to be doing the diamond painting on its side, but the symbols will be the right way around. But I am used to doing that because I do tend to find that a lot easier to do, especially with my limited desk space. Um, let's just peel. Let me just put these two back because I always seem to have issues putting these back down once I've peeled them off. And I'm sitting about three hours trying to make sure it's all back on straight. Actually, I'm going to have to peel this off because they're overlapped. Okay, there's some more of the peacock's body. And then the last strip. What I've noticed with who can just recently... Um, there's a lot of overlapping with the adhesive on the side of the canvas, but it's not even. It's, I mean, some of it finishes like here and then on the next section, it will finish slightly further out. And this one finishes even further out still. So I've noticed there isn't any consistency with how the glue is, um, where the, how the adhesive is placed, especially at the end of the canvas. But if I lift it around this way so you can see so the actual design itself looks really nice I'm not sure if this is going to be a good size for the design because I wanted to get as much detail as I could possible but I think we might be all right I mean there's, it looks like there's going to be a lot of detail in the flowers and you can definitely tell that's a peacock from where I'm sat and I'm sat quite close. Looking in the viewfinder, it does look a lot better. Um, obviously, in this viewfinder, it does look a little bit more pink, whereas what I can see, it's more, it's more like a grey monotone. Oh, I've just confused my camera for a second there. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to stick this back down. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get it to stick back down the way it started. Oh, I might have got away with this, actually. Normally, when I do this, it, um, I spend the, like the next 20 minutes to half an hour trying to put it all back together again. Let's turn it this way around so we can have a look at this side of the canvas. This just actually feels like a smaller version of what I'm working on now, like size-wise, because the, the, the paint that I'm working on at the minute is um, 105 by 35. So the um, dimensions are, like, width-wise, are the same. Okay, and... So this is the bottom of the peacock. So this is the the kind of plinth that the peacock is sitting on or standing on. Okay, so which way are we going around with this? So if I just show you that. So there we have the bottom of the peacock with its feathers. So the peacock comes around this way with its tail feathers here. And this is like the little plinth that the peacock is sitting on. And then obviously the peacock is a little bit further up the canvas. The canvas itself is in really good condition. I can't see any bubbles or any... Actually, I can see one little bubble there. But we might be able to get rid of that. I don't know if you can see that if I bring it right up close to the canvas, uh, to the camera. But there is one very, very tiny, like teardrop size um, bubble. But I think if I get my X Acto knife, we'll be able to remedy that quite easy. So, 
canvas is in good nick. I'm happy with the canvas. Bear with me a second while I just take a drink of coffee. And there we'll have a, a quick look at the diamonds. This is quite a manageable size. I'm happy with the size of this actually. It's not bad. And I think we're going to get some good detail. See, this is what I ne always get. Me I always mess this up. The strips never go back on. The way you peel them off, no matter how you try, I could literally spend three quarters of an hour to an hour trying to get this to stick back down. But I think we might have got away with that. Minor detail. Okay, so canvas is in good condition. So let's, let's have a quick look at the drills. As you know, I always like to do the inventory on the video. So if you do not want to watch the inventory, then please feel free to skip a little bit further along the video until I've finished. So let's have a quick look at the drills. Did I mention this is a square? I can't remember if I did or not. We don't get an inventory sheet with who we can, unfortunately. I wish we did. So if I just shuffle this up a little bit so we can have a look to see if we've got all the diamonds. Well, I've never had an issue with who we can in the past with their drills, so I think we'll be okay. But I just want to double check. So let's move that over to the side for a second. Um, okay, so... It's a closer look at the drills. They do look in good condition. So let me just take this autofocus off again. So here we've got um, the number one. So it is 153. Um, and this tells us that we have, well, we need, or there is 2,289 drills in this packet and we actually need 1991 so who can always tend to um, overcompensate with the drills that they send us so we do we should have more so I'm going to try and put them in order um, oh wow look at this one I think these have, have been like vacuum sealed so let me just pop this open there we go that's a bit better okay there's no oil in them from what I can see of the two that I've picked up just okay so this is 819 so we've got a lot of those 8326 so that's 19 these are our 310 now how many 310 did it say we should have 394 Yet, it says they've sent us 453. So, there is 6. There's 10. We've got 37 down here. That's the very last colour. Um, number 7. We haven't got very many in there. They've sent us 82. And 24... Right, they've sent us, we, we only need 72, but they've sent us 82, so they've sent us 10 more drills. And if you look really, really carefully, you can see that they are really good condition. They don't look, they don't look like they're bad drills. So it's 24, pop that down there. 26. Right, 11. 17, 25, number 8, um, 32, be down the bottom, 30, which will be down here, 14, about there, 35, 36, 37, 16, 
be there. 27 be about here. I'm going to transfer these diamonds down here because I'm going to get them all jumbled up. And what I also like about Huican is they, they send them in the um, Ziploc bag. So it makes doing these paintings so much easier. So number five is that. That's a nice, nice lilac or purple. 13 goes there. 36 goes there. Number two. 20 goes there. 31. Right, we have got a few. Wow, we've got a lot of rogue beads here. In number 33, um, the three seven three ones, we should have 146. But if you look closely, you can see that there are a lot of drills here that shouldn't be there. So I can see just from looking at this bag from the, this direction is one, two, three, four, five, six diamonds in there that shouldn't even be there. They are a different colour. So 33, um, we should have 127 and they've sent us 146. So we should still have enough, only they've um, they've sent us about four or five different coloured diamonds in there as well. But we should still have enough, so it should be okay. 33, um, 28... 12, 23, oh no, there, can't put my numbers in the right order, uh, 15, number 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, let's just shuffle these along a little bit. Um, number three, 22, 18, 24. Okay. Do I have everything? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So we have all the drills as well. Um, so this is obviously the largest number of drills that we've uh, we're going to need for this painting, eight thousand three hundred and twenty-six. Um, the next one will be the next highest will be the eight one nines of seven thousand two hundred and forty. That's nineteen. Oh, right, that was that one, duh. Um, 2,538 of 15. So, there actually looks like there's more. It's weird how Hua can do this because they would send us like 3,000, we'd, we'd need 3,849 of 3042. Which is 28. But we only need, so we need, I'm going, I'm getting myself confused here. 28. So we need 3,849 and they send us 4,426. But then when you look at the other colours, some of the other colours we need only like 10 of, for example. Which one was it? Um, 
So 3832, colour 35. You see, they've sent us at least a couple of hundred extra of that one. Yet when you look at this one, they've sent us 46, but we only actually need 40. So they've only sent us six extra diamonds in this packet, but they've sent us like at least a couple of hundred more out of this one. So how do they work that out? Why do they send you a couple of hundred more of one thing, but only send you six of another? I haven't, I haven't quite figured that one out. So if anyone does have the answer, feel free to let me know. But um, yeah, that, that's a bit confusing. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty much um, it for this unboxing. I'm happy with it. All the drills are there. They don't look oily. They look in good condition. Um, there are a few bags that I've noticed that they've, they've got a few rogue beads in them. But, um, you know, as long as we don't have any, like, trashy beads, we should be okay. We shouldn't run out. So, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Um, so, this is a 37 colour. Um, it's a 60 by 35. It's a square, full square drill from Huacan. So, so yeah, I'm happy with this. To be honest, I've never really ever had an issue with Huacan diamond paintings. I know a lot of people have. So I am, I am st like still quite wary when I buy them, thinking, is this going to be the time when I'm going to be let down? Um, but fortunately, I have never been in that situation. I do feel that sometimes they rush the way they um, prepare the diamond paintings, especially when you've got the can the, the cover sheet. It's all like random sizes and like the, the actual adhesive on the edge of the canvas is not consistent. It's like some of it's like sticking out and stuff. But those are like minor details. I mean, at the end of the day, when you do these diamond paintings, majority of people cut off the um the outer edges of the canvas anyway um depends on how you're framing it or what you plan to do after you've completed it so it's a minor detail but it's it's a bit of a a niggly detail we shall say but um but yeah this is um the end of this video then guys thank you so much for watching um if you are watching this on the time of the upload which is um, Friday, the 2nd of November. Um, my live stream will be on YouTube later this evening um, for episode 11, I believe, of my Ever Moment diamond painting. So I hope to see you here a little bit later on. But if you are watching this after the event, then you can always look back um, at my previously recorded live streams because I always keep the a copy of the, the live stream on my channel. So should anyone want to go back and watch um, a live stream because they couldn't make the live then there's you know you can always go back and um, and catch up with my with my live videos there so thank you guys so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and um, I shall see you all hopefully a bit later on um, if not I will see you in my next video so take care guys have a great day happy diamond painting and I'll see you all soon take care bye bye